Nigerian Commercial City Lagos is at it again, transforming its transportation sector. With over 21 million inhabitants, traveling within the city can be very stressful, from the traffic jam to the hike in transportation to fuel price. This can be very frustrating. In a bid to reduce travel time, reduce cost of transportation, create a seamless means of transportation and so on, the Lagos State Government built a rail line which its first phase is currently running from Marina to Maitu and will be extended to Kokumaiku, which is the second phase of the project. Today, we'll be digging in into the full details of the second phase of the Blue Line project to know the level of works achieved so far. This video is sponsored by Speak Light Institute. This complaint basically trains students in foreign languages such as French, German, and the likes, and also prepares students for the challenge ahead. Traveling to a country speaking a different language is a challenging endeavor, discouraging many people from exploring the world and taking opportunity therein. Some German-speaking countries offer free education and low tuition fee for international students such as Germany, Austria, Switzerland, Luxembourg, and so on. In Germany, some schools offer 100% free tuition fee for international students, both undergraduates, masters, and PhD. In Austria, some schools offer very low tuition fee, such as 350 euros to 700 euros, depending on the school. In Switzerland, University of Zurich offers tuition fee as low as 500 euros for master's program, 100 euros for undergraduate per semester. To enroll for these universities, you need a German language certification, which Speak Right Institute has brought to you. They offer both online and offline programs. Do where to reach them on the phone number on your screen. This is the Okokumaiko train station. The station is at its foundation stage. As you can see, there are a lot of works going on here at the train station. The Okokumaiko station is the last station on the Blue Line corridor. There are more to come here at the Okokumaiko train station, as a pedestrian bridge will be built here to ensure safe crossing of the 10 lane highway, and also a stable yard will be built here which will house and maintain the train, which will in turn change and develop Okokumaiko and its neighborhood. This is Alabarago, where concrete drainage installation is ongoing. The drainage will ensure proper water management and prevent flooding in this area. The drainage system is built to stand every rain pour and ensure the rail track stand the test of time. So before me is the last two train station. Let me show you how it looks like. So that is the last two train station. Work is currently going on inside the premises. This is the last two train station. The station is still at its foundation stage. As you can see, lot of works are still going on at the station. Lot of works are currently going on at the last two train station, such as some filling of the rail track, and construction is still going on on the pedestrian bridge which is being built here opposite the Lasso Gate, which will help Lagosians and its residents, and also Lasso students to cross the 10-lane Lagos Badagri Expressway safely. This pedestrian bridge is a very crucial part of the Lasso train station, ensuring safe and easy access to all users. Hi guys, I'm currently at Yanoba, and I'll be showing you the construction update on the second phase of the Blue Line project. This is Yanoba, which is a bus stop on the Lagos Badagri Expressway. Here at Yanoba, significant work has been done, as the elevation point here at Yanoba has been erected. This bridge will allow train to pass over the road and ensuring a safe and stable means of transportation, which will also separate road traffic from rail traffic. Between Vokes and the Yanomba Interchange Bridge, some filling of the rail track has started, and which is also the rail foundation which will lead to the elevated side of Yanomba. This is Aboleadu. Construction of concrete drainage is currently ongoing, and the drainage will ensure good water management and prevent flooding along the rail track. This is the Aboleadu train station. As you can see, a lot of works has been done at this station. This is Alakija, and it is one of the three elevation points on the second phase of the Blue Line project, and the second elevation point after the Yanoba elevation point. This is one of the first locations 
where the construction of the second phase of the Blue Line project began. Lots of work has been done here, such as the construction of this elevation bridge, which will help to cross the road and in turn separate the rail traffic from road and pedestrian traffic. Between Alakija Overpass Bridge and the Alakija Interchange Bridge, some filling has been done, preparing the ground for the rail track. Between Alakija and Agboju, there is a construction of a train station, which is the Alakija train station. The train station will provide commuters access to the infrastructure, making it a critical component of the project. This is Festac First Gate. The area has been cleared and some filling is currently ongoing, preparing the ground for the rail track which will run through this place. This is Mazamaza, and there are lots of wars going on between Mazamaza and Maitu. Previously, there's an old bridge here, which has been pulled down and a new one will be constructed here, which will be linking Maitu to Mazamaza. Pierce drilling is currently ongoing, preparing for the construction of a new bridge. The bridge will cross this river, making it the third elevation point on the second phase of the Blue Line project. For watching this video up to this extent, I have been able to show you the construction update on the second phase of the Blue Line project. Stay tuned as I will keep updating you on the progress of this project and other projects. The future of transportation in Lagos State is very bright.